Hello guys, in this video I am going to cover API call with the help of HTTP package and provider. So in this video I am going to cover three things. The one is I am going to show you how to call APIs with the help of HTTP package and along with the provider. Second is I am going to use some stylish loaders. And the third one is I am going to answer this question asked in my videos. So I will show you how you can visible a widget based on a condition. So let's start with the dependencies first. Copy this HTTP dependency which is required. Let's go to Opsfac and under dependencies add HTTP dependency. Go here. We need provider as well. We need this stylish loaders as well. I will show you how we can add it and save it so this is gonna fetch the dependencies i will just stop it so let's go here into the folder and just create a couple of folders the one is for your models another one is for providers so we need to consume this api which we have already used in the previous example of consuming api call with http package so let's copy this data go to quick type and just paste it and specify the name let's give it pets and make your data selector null safety is fine so we need these okay so everything is fine we just copy this go back here and just under the models i will create a file pets dot dot and here i will paste my code so save it go back so now we need to go to main so we need to wrap this material app into change notifier provider and here we need to just provide the one function which gonna give us one provider which we have not created yet and the child would be this material app okay so now we need to create a provider so let's go to the provider folder and simply specify pets underscore provider dot dot so here we need to create a provider so to create a provider simply class pets provider we need to extend change notifier and what we need to do here we need some variables the one is we need api and point that would be so we are taking it from this so copy this paste it here and since it is static and we just use static const here now second we need to identify whether the data is being fetched or not so for that we will be taking one bool variable that is is loading initially i will just make it true because i want to fetch it in the beginning so i just make it by default is loading and once it is loaded i will just convert it into is is loading false then we need one string for holding errors so initially i don't have any error and we need if there is no error i need pets variable for holding the pets so let's say pets so initially it should be empty so data i will just make empty now we need to fetch data from the api for that i will just create a method get data from api so since it is uh, getting data from api so just mark it with the async so here everything i will cover with try catch so that i can handle exceptions as well so inside the try i will be doing api call so for that we have to use http so for that we can import this http so just go on the top if you don't remember you can simply go to this http packet and they have already mentioned how to use it just you can copy this go back paste it here now you can use this http.get and here you need to use 
URI. So in order to create a URI, just use this URI dot parse method and pass your API endpoint. That's all. Now this is gonna give us some value back that would be of response type. So I just copy this, paste it over here and import this. So this uh, will, I think, not be imported like this. So let me just use a wait here and we need to import this so you can just comment it go here and oops go here and just import this and just do like this so you can see they have imported this so now you can uncomment this because it is used for this so you got your result now here you can check something so you can check for your response check for your instead of using future i just make it response so if the response dot status code you need to check is equal to is equal to 200 then you need to say everything is fine so get your data so we need to keep your data into pets so directly from the response body we are getting string so we cannot assign it to pets so we need to convert it so for that we have already created the model so we will be using pets from we have json yes so this takes one string and give you the model back so let's use this and pass this response body to it and all done if your response code is not okay and that is not 200 then what you have to do simply use else and simply say error is equal to so you can either use response body as an error or you can simply assign this response code dot to string so that you can see so you can handle it in any ways depending upon your functionality so here inside the catch we will simply use error is equal to e dot to string so everything is done so once everything is done what we need to do we simply need to say is loading is equal to false so my loading has been completed just notify listeners so that is all your business logic okay so just save it go back to main page and simply provide your provider here let's say pets provide so this main has been completed now so we just left with the home page so what we need to do here so here we will be using the provider first of all let's say final provider is equal to so we need to use provider so let's delete this dot off so we will be getting context and just go here like this and you can specify your provider as well so that is pets provider okay so once you have done this just go inside this body part and here what we need to do just remove this here i need to check for my provider dot is loading if it is loading then you have to simply say get loading ui so this we will define later on so we just create some functions over here so if it is loading we will show loader otherwise we will check is there any error so we can do what use provider dot error dot is so if the error is not empty then get error ui otherwise there is loading is completed so there is no error then just get body ui okay so this is what you need to do so if there is error ui you need to pass your error that is provider dot error and just go here and if there is no error we need to provide provider dot pets so that is all for this portion
now we just left with these things so let's quickly go here and create the methods so for loading we just go here and return center and make sure you mention here widget as a return type of each method because each of this method gonna return as a widget which we are displaying in the body part so let's do it here so here in a center we have to use the child so here the child would be some stylish loader so for that you can go here and just go for the spin kit and you can choose any of these so let's use this uh, simple one so fading circle so what you can do we can just copy this code here and then we can choose whatever type of loader you want so what i'm going to do instead of using this i will just use a column so that i can display some text along with this the first one would be this loader and the second one would be const text let's say loading and just add it to comma here so here uh, whatever you want you can choose it from here so let's go with this uh, fading circle go back here paste it so you can just import it and since everything is const let's use const here and remove this from here so save this so this is going to cover your ui part the rest we will decorate it later on so let's go to the error part and here again i need to return the center widget and then add a child and that would be const so everything will be const we just use the const here and simply say text here and here we need to display error so error we are already getting as the argument so just use that error over here and we can't use const here because variable is being used and we can just add a little style here so we have done with this portion as well now we're left with the body part so just go here and simply return list view dot builder and here we need to add one more argument over here that is item count so how do you get item counts from pets we have data variable and from data that is basically array we can get length so here you can replace this item builder with this arrow function of context and index and simply return a list title okay and here we just use the title that is text and let's say this pets dot data and index dot let's say pet name or username whatever you want you can use so we just save it so let's run it and see how it looks then we will decorate it okay so it is working so we just need to do a couple of modifications here so first of all just change this color to blue and this size we can increment to let's say 80 and just add some style here now you just need main axis size size dot min that's fine it will come in the center that's great now we're left with okay so now we are not getting any data because we are not calling this so let's try to call this i will show you what will happen so let's go here and try to call this over here with provider and once you call this you will see your data is coming 
but the problem is that this build will be called again and again and again so which is uh, not preferred so what you can do in order to solve it so we just need here listen false so if you do this this will not be able to listen this build let me just reload this let us clear this so you can see this is no more listening this is called and uh, this is no more listening that's why we are not getting anything from it so what we need to do in order to solve that we need to first of all just convert the stateless widget to stateful and here we need init so inside this init we can just cut this portion and take it over here because we need it once only so once the provider gonna call this method that's fine and here in this build we need to keep on listening the value of this provider that is is loading so let's go here and simply use the same provider over here and instead of using this listen false we just remove it that is by default listen to true so now you will be able to see let's clear this and restart so this build will not be called again and again this would be called only twice so let's go to this body part and quickly decorate everything so here we are using this list style and this is a title that's fine i don't want to use anything else so let's use leading here for that i will use circle avatar and inside which i will be using this radius let's give it to 22 and we need background image that is a network image which is coming from this pets dot data index dot pet image and you need to use a background color if you want just for decoration so i just make it white so i save it okay so images are loaded now we just need one more decoration part over here for the trailing so for trailing what i will do i will answer this question over here so i will be adding a condition if the dog is not friendly then i will display a icon over there otherwise i will not display anything so let's go here and check for this pets dot data dot uh, is friendly if the dog is friendly i don't want to display anything so for that i will use this const sized box without any size otherwise if dog is not friendly then i will display one icon that icon would be icons dot let's say pets do we have yep and i just define the color as red because if the dog is not friendly it would be dangerous so let's give it a colors dot red and add the const here you just save it so now you can see this icon is loading only where the dog is not friendly otherwise we are not displaying anything so let's go here with the problems and we just remove this unused import same let's delete save this and everything is fine okay so that is all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section otherwise like share and subscribe thank you